So the main fundamental difference between TypeScript and JavaScript is that TypeScript uses strict types and JavaScript does not. Now that means if we define a variable as a string like this, then in TypeScript it will always be a string and its type cannot be changed later. And the same would be true of any other type like numbers, booleans, objects, arrays, that kind of thing. So let's have a look now at some of the basics. So the way we declare a variable is exactly the same as we would in a JavaScript file. We just use either let, var or const. So we've already declared this, which is a string, but let's now do maybe a number. So let's say let age equal to 30. Now in TypeScript, we don't use integers for whole numbers and we don't use floats for decimal numbers. They're not two separate types like in other programming languages. Instead, we just have a number type which covers the whole lot, which makes it a little bit easier for us. So this is now a number and therefore later on, it could not be a string or a Boolean or something else. And if I say down here, let, and we'll create one called is black belt and set that equal to false, that would be a Boolean. And now it could not change into something else. So if I came down here and I said, okay, well, let me take the character and that's this one right here, which is currently a string. We assigned that to be a string. If I try to set that to something like a number, like 20, notice we get this squiggly line, this error right here. And if we hover over, it says type 20 is not assignable to type string. So it's not letting us now change this type. But if I then try to change character to another string, for example, Luigi, then it will let me do this. We don't get an error. So we can change the value of the variable, just not the type. So it can always be changed to a different string, just not to something else like a number or a Boolean. Uh, the same is true. And by the way, strings in TypeScript can either be double quotes or single quotes, just like in JavaScript. So if we try to change the age now to something like Yoshi, then that is going to error as well. And it's going to say that the type Yoshi is not assignable to type number. So this is a number. We can't change it to a string. But again, I can change that to a different number. I could say age is now equal to something like 40. And that would be fine. Now, finally, let's do is black belt. So is black belt. And let's try changing that into a string. We'll say yes. And oops, for a start, we've not spelled this correctly. Is bulk belt should be is black belt. Okay, and we get an error. It says type yes is not assignable to the type boolean. So if we want to change this to false, it still works is black belt and set that equal to or rather true, change it to true. That's absolutely fine to do. So we can't change these types, we can change the values of them, but not the types. And that is the same for any type that we declare in TypeScript. Now notice, we don't have to specifically say the character is going to be a string. TypeScript uses what's known as inference, or it infers the type based on the value we assign it. So it looks at this value and says, okay, this is going to be a string. And if we hover over character, we can see it says character is a string. We can explicitly define what type a variable will be, but we'll look at that later on. For now, this is fine. We can just give a variable a value and TypeScript infers its type. Now, we can also declare what type of variable we expect to be passed into a function as an argument. And in TypeScript, we can use either regular functions or arrow functions. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be using arrow functions most of the time. So let's create a function down here. I'm going to say const and then circ, and that stands for circumference, is equal to a function. And this function is going to take in as a parameter the diameter of a circle. Let's spell that correctly, diameter. And we're going to return the circumference of the circle based on the diameter. And the formula for that is just the diameter times pi. So I'm going to say return diameter times math dot pi. So this math object, this is built into JavaScript. And since TypeScript just extends JavaScript, basically, then it has access to everything that JavaScript has. Therefore, it can access this math object right here. So we're saying we want to return the diameter times math dot pi. And that gives us the circumference. Now down here, I'm going to say console dot log. And I'm going to log out circ and then pass in something. Now, 
right now I could pass any value into this function right here. It doesn't matter whether it's a number or a string or a boolean. I could pass in hello if I wanted to and it's not going to give me any kind of error. There's no squiggly line right here even though this doesn't make sense. Now if I save this and then compile this I'm going to say tsc sandbox ts and then I'm going to use the watch flag so that we don't have to keep running this to compile it. So that's going to compile and it's not going to give me any kind of error. And if we look inside sandbox.js, we still have this function right here and we log it and we pass in this as the diameter, which doesn't make any sense. Now, if we go over here and look in the console, we're going to get some kind of error or rather not a number logged to the console. So we're not getting the result we want. So in TypeScript, what we can do is actually define the type that this must be when we pass something into it. And we can do that by adding a colon at the end and saying that this must be a number, for example. Or if it was a string, it should be a string. Or a Boolean, if it was a Boolean, right? So I'm going to say this must be a number. And now notice down here, it doesn't let me do this. Right, so if I save this now, because we have an error here, it's not actually going to compile. And it gives us this error right here. It says argument of type hello is not assignable to parameter of type number. So we're saying when you call this function, you have to pass in a number, otherwise I'm not going to compile. So now I'm going to get rid of that and instead pass in a number, for example, 7.5. The error goes away, now it compiles, and now we should get the result we want over here. So this thing right here, let's take a look at what that looks like in the compiled JavaScript code. So, hmm, doesn't look any different whatsoever. It's just that we're passing in now a number. And that's correct. This check right here that we're passing in the right thing, the right type of data isn't done at runtime in the browser. It's done before we compile. Right, so as we're developing right here, we're doing those checks and it won't compile to JavaScript if the wrong type is sent in. So now TypeScript allows us to type check during development like this, which leads to cleaner code and less errors in the browser. So that's the basics of types. In the next video, we're gonna carry on and look at objects and arrays.